it is incredibly fitting that if Aaron Rodgers goes to the Jets, this is your introduction to Aaron Rodgers. R-E-L-A-X, bruh. 24-7 drama, always on his terms. Welcome, Jets, to the world of Aaron. You think you're getting two years? You're getting one, maybe, and then next year he'll disappear in the offseason, play the game again. So at least it's appropriate. It's fitting. This is what Green Bay's been going through for half a decade or more. Now, the good news is the Jets are working to sign Alan Lazard, Green Bay receiver. What does that tell you? It tells you that Aaron has given the Jets boxes to check. Hey, hire Nathaniel Hackett, my buddy. Maybe it'll help. Get Alan Lazard. You got a bunch of young receivers. Get me somebody I know. Maybe it'll help. Wouldn't mind David Bakhtiari and Randall Cobb, though those haven't been made public. So it feels like Aaron has given them boxes to check and he's waiting for them to get deals done. That has always been the worst part of Aaron. You can do everything he asks and you still have no idea where you stand with him. I mean, Green Bay's been in this relationship for 16 years. Do they like each other? I don't think so. Is he coming back? Nobody's sure. And listen, we all understand. I don't care if it's Messi, Ronaldo, Brady, Jordan, Kobe, all-time greats are demanding. But I always sort of feel with those great athletes, like if Brady wanted something and you delivered it, he had his demands, maybe and mostly private, but you knew where you stood with him. You never do with Aaron. He's passive aggressive. He hints at retirement. He doesn't have a big social circle. He's kind of private. So you can make all the changes and all the sacrifices and fill all the boxes, and you still don't know where you stand with him. Green Bay still doesn't know 16 years where they stand with him. And it's not like the Green Bay front office is a complicated bunch. Golf shirts, dockers, work hard, head down. Not overly complicated. They love football. And they still don't know what they get from Aaron. And Aaron gives off the vibe that I'm not sure if I like you. That is why this is so fitting. Welcome to the world of Aaron Rodgers. And the other thing is, and this needs to be said, and it's completely true. When LeBron made demands, he got you to the finals. Peyton or Brady made demands. They got you to a conference championship or Super Bowls. Aaron makes all these demands. He couldn't beat Detroit at Lambeau. He couldn't beat and outplay Garoppolo at Lambeau. He couldn't beat old Brady at Lambeau. So what do I get on the other end? It's not like I'm getting conference championships. I'm not getting Super Bowls or NBA final appearances. So the Jets now are desperate. Shocker. They're desperate often. The Cleveland Browns were desperate. Shocker. They signed Deshaun Watson because they were desperate often. And what happens when you do that is the quarterback now controls you. Deshaun Watson's contract will eventually control everything Cleveland does. And Aaron Rodgers, not even a Jets employee yet, is making it very clear. This will be on my terms. Get me the players I want, the coordinator I want. It doesn't guarantee you'll get me, but it'll give you a better shot at getting me. And this morning, as everybody in Jets land is freaking out and anxiety ridden, Aaron is saying, hey, bruh, R-E-L-A-X. What an appropriate entrance to the New York Jets. The reality Packer fans, media teams, coaches, executives have been living for the last five to ten years. So I thought this story was interesting. I don't know really what to make of it. Albert Breer reports that Garoppolo is a better culture fit with the Raiders than Derek Carr was. Albert Breer says, for better or worse, they didn't see Derek Carr as a culture fit after having him in the building for a year. They aren't guessing on whether Garoppolo will be better in that regard. They know because Josh McDaniels used to coach him. So, you know, if you've listened to the show for years, I've always said, I like when the star matches the city. Bird in L.A. and Magic in Boston would never have been that cool. Magic was perfect as a Laker. Showtime. Bird, tough, feisty, was perfect as a Celtic. It's why it's the greatest NBA rivalry in a decade of all time, and there's nothing really close. 
They were perfect personalities for their city. One feisty and combative, one having a good time, all smiles and fun. Garoppolo is perfect for Vegas. Maybe Derek Carr wasn't. I've said this about Brady in New England. Tom was committed, passionate, driven, willful, all business, very Boston. Josh Allen in Buffalo played for a Wyoming cowboy. Now he's got a bison on the helmet. Small town guy, perfect for Buffalo. Joe Burrow in Cincinnati, Midwestern kid, great work ethos, unassuming, not into fame, perfect for Cincinnati. Even Mahomes in Kansas City, he's chill, backyard barbecue fun guy, loyal, not into fame, wants to have a good time. Joe Montana in San Francisco, Big Ben in fit Pittsburgh. It just felt right. For the record, Green Bay and Aaron never has. The California hipster and the conservative Midwestern executives. It's why there's a constant battle year after year. But Garoppolo in Vegas, single, good-looking, fun, semi-committed, good-time Jimmy. Garoppolo's the kind of guy that if he called you and said, hey, guys, Want to go for Vegas for the weekend? Nobody turns it down. I like Derek Carr, but he didn't have a let it rip quality. That's the thing about Garoppolo. Kyle Shanahan asks him to make those tight window throws over the middle. He does. Sometimes they're picked. Mostly they're not. But he never lacks confidence. Garoppolo never lacks confidence. Remember when Devontae Adams, star receiver for the Raiders last year, complained that Hey, man, just because I'm double teamed, let it go. Let it rip. Let it go. Take risks. Derek Carr's got a Kirk Cousins vibe. What did Stephon Diggs complain about Derek Carr? Let it rip. Throw it into coverage. Take a big swing occasionally. That's why I always thought Derek Carr in conservative Carolina was perfect. Frank Reich increases your efficiency, played in the NFL, like Derek, a really nice guy, head down, work hard. I thought it was perfect. Um, you know, when, when Brady went to Tampa, uh, Jason wasn't working on the show at the time, but I said what worried me, because I lived in the New England region, I said, literally, Tampa is the furthest thing from New England. It's Ebor cities, cocktails at four, you know, Belichick is do your job, Arians is go hang out with your fam, Neither is perfect, neither is right, but it was a completely different cultural fit. And after the first year, Brady and that franchise, nothing but headaches. Arians is now upstairs. Uh, Todd Bowles, who knows? Byron Leftwich wore him out. The fit wasn't right. Brady made it work for a year, but even the year they won the Super Bowl, they were 7-5 and five and screaming at each other on TV in Chicago. It was never ideal. Mark Jackson in the Bay Area, Steve Kerr in the Bay Area. One really fits. Again, magic and bird. I like Derek Carr a lot. I thought New Orleans was a weird fit. It's like, it's a little like Vegas, right? But what Josh McDaniels, according to the Albert Breer story, is saying, we know what Jimmy does. He'll lubricate the room socially. He's a guy's guy. He'll let it rip. He's loose. He's fun. You know what you get with Jimmy Garoppolo. It's not a knock on Kirk Cousins and Derek Carr. I've been a Derek Carr fan from day one, but Garoppolo is a totally different vibe in the room, and I think it works. I like the move. I really do. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.